and so it's like being an artist. You're kind of like painting the areas rather than touching and burning and touching and burning. Gastroenterologist Harry Snady describes a procedure called spray cryotherapy used to treat patients with precancerous cells in their esophagus. Basically, you freeze the area of, of the uh, disease and it just kind of falls off. And this is great for things that are on the surface. But it's much more than that. The endoscopic tube gets fed down the esophagus and uses liquid nitrogen to target the surface tissue. It's a game changer for patients with a condition called Barrett's esophagus, a disorder caused by acid reflux that can lead to cancer. It's estimated that uh, about 18 to 20,000 new cases are diagnosed each year in the United States. Uh, New Jersey is, uh, is an area where we see, uh, I would say, a slightly increased uh, or above average uh, amount of esophageal cancer. Those people used to go for surgery, and even at the best centers, one out of 50 people wouldn't make it through the surgery, so it was a big deal. So the catheter that we use to shoot the liquid nitrogen sticks out about that much, and it would basically just shoot out the liquid nitrogen and then we would watch the tissue slowly get colder and colder and then finally freeze. What grows back, which is a standard, I think everybody, was that the cells that grow back are the normal cells of the esophagus. And that's basically your cured. Jersey City Medical Center Barnabas Health is the first hospital in New Jersey to offer the treatment. Patients with later stage esophageal cancer will still require chemo or radiation therapy. Early cancers are more difficult to diagnose because uh, heartburn is, is very common and that may be the only symptom. The entire treatment only lasts about 30 minutes. They're spaced about eight weeks apart and each patient will have between three to four depending on their case. The doctor says they leave with virtually no symptoms or side effects. We've had actually patients interviewed 45 minutes after the treatment and they feel normal. Back, everything's back to normal, they feel great, maybe it's a little cold in their throat. Males between the ages of 45 to 50 are most at risk, especially if they have a history of heartburn, tobacco and alcohol use. Doctors encourage anyone with swallowing or reflux symptoms to get checked early and regularly. In Jersey City, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.